The daylight bombing of an LCC school on the outskirts of London was one of those tragic incidents that seem outstandingly horrifying even in this war. Here's the scene as rescue squads carried on with their heart-rending work. Casualties among children and teachers were appallingly heavy, if that's any consolation to the Nazis, for this indiscriminate attack was presumably a propaganda raid. Goebbels wanted to have some tale of slaughter with which to comfort the bomb-shocked people of Berlin. RAF fighter pilots who took revenge on the raiders include squadron leader Hugo Armstrong, DFC, squadron leader Herries, a fighting French pilot known as Bob, and wing commander Dickie Milne, DFC and Bob. Well, Dickie, now tell us what happened. Well, uh, Spy, we, we were scrambled off in the most fantastic hurry, reports of Huns who were um, on their way up to London, and we got off very quickly indeed. The ground crews were excellent. They really were. They got us off very quickly. Well, reports came through of uh, further Huns coming out at uh, Dungeness area, I think, and we all swept round and cut across, and uh, this time it was a couple of 190s. Do you have to could you close in very near to him before you shot at him? Well, this one, I think I was about uh, 200 yards. Right. Estimated very accurate. And that one also went into the sea? That one went into the sea, Did it explode yes, or not? No, it no, didn't. It didn't explode. No, no. All by yourself? Yes. Not very comfortable, is it? Very uncomfortable. <laughs> and uh, I turned around. We all had a dogfight for about two minutes. I managed to get onto the a quarter attack onto the last enemy aircraft, which I probably destroyed. I last saw him with black smoke pouring from him. Good show. Then I beat it very quickly for the English coast again. Reminiscent of the Battle of B, isn't it? All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, Bob, you're a bit later than the others. What happened to you? Oh, well, you see, uh, when I arrived in Bichy, uh, I found some for group over there. I found nine of them. Well, uh, they thought to give me a good company to come back in England, see? Well, I shot one of them down. And, uh, well, they're very low. Well, no, they were about uh, 3,000 feet. They were above me. Eh? They were 1,000 feet above. Now, what, what, which one did you shoot? Well, uh, I think I shot the leader down, and uh, I shot the last one, too. You shot two of them? Yes, I shot two of them. You see them both go down? Yes, I saw one. And, well, uh, you know, as there were so many, there were nine. I saw only one going down, and the other one, well... Uh, well, you saw him. <laughs> That's the one that you were, you were controlling at the time, Bill, weren't you? No, 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 no. I'm somewhere else. Well, Hugo, now you tell me what happened to you. Where did you catch sight of him first? Well, we picked him up about the halfway between here and the coast. Going out. Five of them lying abreast, right on the big flying first. Going south, and they, the fight opened up on them just the coast across the coast, made them weave a bit, and we caught them. And Which one did you attack of the five first? The one right on the right. And they hit him in the cockpit and blew up. And, and we sailed on and got another one of them, and uh, the rest went home. Did they try and attack you at all? No, or they were simply bent on going home? No, one, one, one of them did. One didn't attack, didn't attack on me, but... Uh, did he fire at you? Yes, he didn't have to. Did he get you? No. No. Not clever enough, these hands, are they? <laughs> All in there. Well, Ray, now you say what happened to you. You didn't take off from here. No, I was by. I was visiting a friend of mine for lunch. And uh, I understand, understood that there was enemy aircraft crossing the coast. So I took off and uh, approached the south coast, crossed the coast, and saw about uh, 20 enemy aircraft. And there was four flying in line abreast pretty fast on the deck. I uh, dived down, shot the one on the left in the sea. And uh, we, as soon as we got airborne, we had reports that the aircraft were heading south again. And uh, we gave chase. They were obviously flying very fast. It took us a long time to catch How them. How fast do you think they were flying? Well, I don't I should say over, over 300 miles an hour. And you I caught them doing, on the coast, didn't you? caught them on the coast. I was doing 340. And... Um, How many were there, the first ones you saw? Well, I suppose I, I, I've caught a single one, uh, which was crossing the coast. I think Hugo, who was just behind me, had uh, four, weren't there, Hugo? Five of them. Five. It was five. But you know, the one you attacked first was a solitary one. Yes. And he yes. went straight in the deck. Yes, caught fire. Caught fire.